Okay, we live. All right, so long. So long. First, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and citations to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, uh, so we're going to get into another lesson here. Uh, the title of this uh, lesson is going to be called Blasphemy uh, Against the Holy the Holy Spirit, man. All right. And uh, ultimately what that is going into is if you uh, come into the knowledge uh, of the Yahweh Hashem Yashai and the Most High subs with you and gives, reveals his secrets unto you and you, uh, you, uh, you, you, you take that for granted so far as to uh, demean this, uh, this truth and esteem it as nothing. By you know uh, lying, teaching out of your own heart, even though you may have the knowledge, the truth, you may you you'll lie, okay, about uh, about the the names of the Most High, you'll lie about how the scriptures uh, uh, talk about uh, uh, you know specific doctrine, okay, or you'll even go so far as to fall out of the truth and go back into the world and just can be be uh, a, a nigga again, okay. All of those things come into the category of blasphemy uh, against the Holy Spirit. You know, and so, uh, you know, so so what that uh, what what that like I said, what the, the the importance of this lesson is to edify brothers on what exactly that means. All right. Because it's important to know uh, that's that it says that is what well, we're going to get the scripture uh, before we get the scripture. I'm going to read this scripture uh, uh, in Matthew. Uh, and 24. All right. It says. I'm sorry, not 24, Matthew chapter 10 and uh, and 32, all right? It says, whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which was in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before before men, him will I also deny before my Father, uh, which is in heaven, all right? So the reason I brought that out is because part of... Um, Part of uh, 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 pushing the word is is uh, is proclaiming and professing and declaring uh, uh, the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's the foundation of this truth. And so, off the bat, if you're not if you're teaching that uh, Yahweh uh, and Yahweh Shai uh, are not the names, all right, then you then you're teaching a contrary doctrine, all right. And you have certain men that, that go so far as to say that uh, that you know that that that, that, that you know. They, they they blaspheme those names, man. You know that's that's uh that's uh that's unacceptable, man. You know, and so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that uh, scripture, uh, Bible for shop. We can pull it in Matthew. Uh, okay. like you said Matthew Matthew uh, twelve, right? Mm-hmm. Matthew twelve. Okay. Right. It's Matthew twelve and thirty-one. Can you see my screen, Akia? Con, I can see it. You can zoom in okay. a little bit, though. All right. Uh, this is Matthew 12, 31. It says, um, Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men. Okay, Khan. So let, can we get that word blasphemy in the Greek, Baal Khan. So the first part of that verse, well, let's get the word first. Let's get that word mm -hmm. first. And if you have to go to the uh, Hebrew, I mean, so, so it, to the Greek stairs lexicon, you can, but does it have the definition on there? There you go. Um, yeah, slander. Right there. Put, read, them all, read all of it. It says slander, detraction, speech, in, injurious to another's good, so like it, to another's good name. Right, and the Most High's name is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So if you slander the Most High's name, that's that's that cannot be forgiven you man okay that's um, that's it says injurious speech so you you tarnishing uh the, the most high's name all right by just that's uh the scriptures say that you know uh thou shalt not take the most high's name in vain okay but like right. i said jake will take it another step by you know by cursing the most high man that's right you know keep going bro God, it says, um, injurious speech to another's good name, 
It says, uh, impious and reproachful speech, injurious to divine majesty. If I could, if I could say something about the another's good name, you know, the Most High has a good name, regardless. You know, Yahweh Bashem Shah's name is good, regardless, regardless of him um, doing ill will, what you would call, what you would perceive as ill will into your life. You know, like um, when Job was going through, the Most High's name was still good. You know, in, in Job, in Job's heart, he never did. Um, he never did curse the Most High because even though it didn't feel good what Job was going through, of course it was a terrible time. He was going through complete hell, but the Most High's name was still good, you know, no matter what. And it was the Most High that, uh, that allowed those things to happen to Job, you know, but it was for a purpose. I mean, even like a lot of times we could, we could get upset about, we could feel like we're upset towards the Most High, but we're really upset with ourselves, you know. And the most high is the most high is good regardless. We just have to continue to praise him even through uh those tough times. But I, I just want to bring that out. Con. So what we're gonna do is go back to the scripture uh, and read it again with that understanding. Now we know that blasphemy means slander uh to mm -hmm. another's good name. And in this in this case, the name Con. uh names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So let's Con. read again, Baba Kusha. Con it says, uh, wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin. And blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men. Okay, so the slander, okay, and speaking evil of, um, you know, particular things can be forgiven, all right? Uh, but if you are speaking against the Holy Spirit, okay, which... Yahweh Bashim uh gave us this Holy Spirit. So you you basically condemning the power that gave us this this truth. Then you uh, then it says you will not uh, you will not be uh, forgiven. Okay. Now let's read the next verse. Bible Kusha. Go ahead. So like yeah. Oh yeah. Was it um on the next verse? Yeah. Go ahead. Like, yeah, here it is. And uh, whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in his work, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Right. Whosoever, uh, let's say, whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man. So if you speak against your brother, okay, or you speak against, uh, you know, and you're not supposed to do it, but it can, but it can be forgiven because uh, Peter came to your house and asked him, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother? And your house and he, he, he uh, and Peter said seven times, uh, and your house said seventy times seven. All right, and so Peter wasn't going on trying to calculate, and what is that? How many is that time? He just he just forgave him, okay? Mm -hmm. Because you know this mercy, man. You know we're supposed to have mercy, for, but there's certain things where you just go too damn far. You know better. OK, mm -hmm. and this is one of them. So, uh, like I said, that example being uh, uh, blaspheming the name of the most high by, you know, cursing, cursing the name of the most high and, and falling out the truth, going back into the world and esteeming the things that are in the world higher than, uh, you know, the, the, the beauty of, uh, uh, of the rich and the riches of this truth. All right. Because mm -hmm. uh, Paul said, I believe it was the book of Philippians. He said, I count all things but dung uh, for the riches and, and the knowledge of, uh, uh, of, of this truth. Roughly paraphrasing. Uh, so let's get uh, let's get First Corinthians eleven unless you had a preset, bro. No, I didn't have nothing. Okay, yes, let's go ahead and get that. Uh, First Corinthians eleven and uh, twenty-seven. Go on, this is First Corinthians eleven, at chapter twenty-seven. It says, "Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the of the Most High unworthily, shall be guilty of the of the body, uh, and blood of the Lord." I'm going to read that one more time. It says, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of Yahushai, because Yahushai is the Lord that is speaking of, unworthily shall be shall be guilty of the body and blood of Yahushai. God. Our Lord. God. Right. So because every time we uh every time we uh make that uh uh that communion with Yahushim Yahushai, we ultimately uh we 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 uh 
what's the word I'm looking for? We come together in spirit, right? You have a you have a per, you, you have you have that uh, union, okay, with Yahweh Shah, because mm-hmm. it says uh, 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 Yahweh Shah dwells uh, in us, okay, because we are the temple of the Most High. We're the Most High's temple, and Yahweh mm-hmm. Shah dwells in the spiritual temple, which is the body. So, um, if you were um, if you uh, if you were if you were eating and drinking the cup of Yahweh Shai unworthily, meaning you coming into the truth, all right? And because uh, the scripture talk about how uh, I believe it's in the, a book of James, you got certain men that crept in unawares coming into the uh, into the truth, basically uh, with the outward appearance of a brother, but the inward appearance of a malicious person. Um, as a matter of fact. Uh, let's get Hebrews chapter four and one real quick. Okay. Hebrews chapter four and one. It says, "Let us therefore fear, uh, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest." Um, any of you should seem to come short of it. Can I keep going, Bob? Okay. It says, For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. All right. So the gospel was preached unto us as well as the unbelievers, but the unbelievers didn't believe. Okay. But those who actually... Uh, uh, oh, wait, you know what? Let's see. Is this the one that said what they would have continued with us if they had believed? There's another, there's another scripture that says that they would have continued with us if they were of us, they would have continued with us. Uh, but uh, they, you have some that have come into the truth and fallen out of the truth because they didn't believe, all right? So the scriptures also say it's better for a man to uh, not have come into the truth at all, all right, than to uh, taste of the taste of this truth. And then go back into the world. So going back into the scripture that we just brought out in uh in uh First Corinthians chapter eleven, if you eat mm-hmm. and drink of the uh, uh of the body and blood of Yahweh Shai unworthily, then you you do that to to your own condemnation. Okay. Okay. You see, it says because you're gonna be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Let's get that in mm-hmm. Hebrews six and four. Yeah, that's God. it. Con. It's uh, Hebrews 6 and 4 says, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have and have tasted the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of Yahweh Bashem Shai and the powers um, of the world to come. Right. So you got and, knowledge of the Hebrew, you got understanding of the prophecies that, you know, these uh, these uh, learned the so-called learned uh, pastors have, uh, well, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. don't have, okay, the learned, the learned Christians, they, you know, they don't, they don't understand uh, the depth and the knowledge, because the scriptures talk about in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, how the wisdom of this world, um, we don't have the wisdom as well, we have the wisdom that comes from on high, and that wisdom mm-hmm. can only be given to the most, uh, I'm sorry, given to us from the most high, and it can mm-hmm. only be received by the elect, the, the wicked of this world don't receive it, so with that being said, it's impossible for us to come into this truth, learn all the things that we've learned, and then go back into the world thinking that we're going to be a okay with the Most High. No, that's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Okay, sure. because you are you are ultimately you're spitting in the Most High's face. You're going back uh, into 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 the filth in the in the uh, in the decrepit lifestyle that you live. All right, mm-hmm. uh, when you were in the world, like you talk about that in Ephesians chapter two, man. All right, uh, mm-hmm. how we were once in darkness, we walked according to the to the ways of the Gentiles in time past. All right, but now mm-hmm. we're clean. We're being renewed. Romans chapter six or four. Let me get that real quick. Romans, uh, Romans six and four. All right, Romans uh, six and outside of verse three. Know ye not that so many of us that were baptized into Yahweh Shai Hamashiach were baptized into his death? Now, what does that mean? First of all, baptize, you have to know what that means. The word in the Greek and baptize is baptizo. Baptizo literally means to submerge. Okay, so when you, that's how they, they get the, they get to washing, you, you get dunked, you know, in the water, you get baptized in the water, or you get mm-hmm. submerged 
in the spirit when you get baptized. All right. Spiritually, the spiritual baptism is you, you, you get submerged, you get a spirit comes upon you and it dwells within you. All right. And you are supposed to stay submerged. You don't get dipped in there. It's not a dip. It's a, you get submerged. Okay. And you don't, you're not, you don't, you don't, that you don't get disenchanted. Okay. You stay in the spirit. Now you have times where you are on a more fire than other. I'm talking about in the truth. All right. Uh, you, your, you, your flame might be brighter as uh, certain days than others, but at least your flame is on. If that flame goes out and you put it out, because Jacob sure. will, re would rather the uh, pleasures of sin for a season than to uh, uh, enjoy the kingdom, man. When, uh, when, 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 when it's all said and done, all right. That's you. That's disrespectful, man. To the that's that's like I said, that's slapping the Most High in the face. So right. we read it in Romans six. It says we're baptized into His death, meaning. We are supposed to be dead in this flesh, all right? This flesh, we, we crucify the flesh, all right? Meaning we put it to death, meaning the old man, the, the carnal man, the, 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 the ways of, uh, of, of our old past, li of our old lives when we were uh, without this understanding are supposed to be uh, cut off, okay? Because mm -hmm. those are the ways of the world, okay? And so when you cut that off, okay, and you become clean in the eyes of the Most High, when you read in verse four, it says, wherefore, we are buried with him by baptism into, uh, I'm sorry, we are buried with him by baptism into death. Like uh, that, like as Hamashiach was raised up from the dead by the glory of the father, even so we should walk in newness of life. So us walking in newness of life, we have to put off that old man. So if you do all that work, you put off the old man and you walk in newness of life, you walk in uh, righteous uh, to the best of your ability, then guess what? You're not that's that would be a complete waste of energy if you just went back into the world. You, 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 you know, you, you, uh, you, you, you said, okay, I'm clean, but now I'm gonna be dirty again, you know, right? I put in however, however long I, I understand. I've read the scriptures, I, I spend all these hours taking notes and watching videos and and you know, and learning the Hebrew and you know, what I'm saying, praying to the most high. Now I'm gonna just go back into that. That's blasphemy, the whole that's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, man. You see, right. that's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. And then, like I said, you uh, a, a teaching a false a doctrine going contrary. Uh, get Bible for shot because you get Galatians uh, chapter one. I'll tell you what verse real quick. OK, because we're supposed to stick according to the uh, to what we've been taught through the spirit, man. Um, by the men that the most high, the Yahweh side set up. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh Verse six, Galatians one. Well, just give the point at verse eight. Bible for shock. Give the point at verse eight. Yeah. Okay. This is Galatians uh, one and eight. It says, "But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other, but Salakia. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you that than that which we have preached unto you." Let him be accursed. Okay, so accursed meaning you 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 are damned, man. You are condemned if you preach in another gospel. Okay, mm -hmm. you're gonna be judged. The Most High is the Most High is going to judge you. And we know judgment's coming uh -huh. to America, uh, opposed to uh, well, con uh, contrary to what uh, 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 other Israelite groups may teach, judgment is indeed coming to America. All right. Um, and so with that being said, we ought to be on point because we want to be in the good graces of the most high. We want to receive mercies, the sure mercies of David that David received. We want to receive those mercies. And we're doing that by making our bodies a living sacrifice. So if you just stop making, if you just stop making, uh, uh, making yourself acceptable in the eyes of the most high, then what reason does he have to keep you around? Did you forget why you were created as an Israelite to glorify the most high, man? God. Okay, and so this is where it starts. We we're reading right here in Galatians one and eight, going you know, taking heed to seducing spirits. Matter of fact, uh, let's get um, next. Uh, did you have a precept, bro? Oh no, not not this okay. time. Okay, okay. I don't want to you know I don't want to you know I don't want to overshadow. Could, uh, if you could get uh, Second Timothy three and, and thirteen, uh, you know because uh, like I said, man, you can you can you know you can get you can get enticed. You know, to you know, maybe they okay, maybe maybe they well, maybe they did go off on this. You know, that's Satan. 
That's where it starts. That's Satan trying to get get you off your rocker, man. Okay, That's lock true. in, lock in in the spirit, man, and do not listen to any 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 uh, uh any Satan gonna try to come from all angles, man. Any wayward okay? doctrine. That's why the scriptures say, "Put on the full armor, the full armor, the full armor of your how about shot." Okay, because mm -hmm. we need the protection from every single angle. Satan is gonna try to come from your 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 uh uh your blind spot behind your neck. He's gonna try to come at your heel. He's gonna try to swing an axe at your back. Okay, he's gonna try to round house kick, swoop you off your off your feet. Everything, man. Every spiritually, you know, every every type of uh attack. All right, is is uh. Satan has in his arsenal, the most I can give him the green light to do. So we ought to be uh, prepared, man, to, to to stick according to the things that we have learned, all right, and not go off and preach any other heretic BS doctrine, man, okay? Because mm -hmm. if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, man, that that's your ass. You see what I'm saying? But, yeah, we're going to get this real quick. Come on. This is um, 2 Timothy Chapter 3 and 13, it says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Worse and worse. So, and so that means so that means you start because you got a waxing, a waxing gibbous. All right. Well, first of all, it starts off as a waxing crescent, right? After the new moon, you got the waxing crescent. I'm talking about the phases of the moon. The waxing meaning you're getting you're getting big, it's it's getting more to to to, to full closer to full. So in waxing, you got a new moon, and then you got the uh, the waxing crescent, and then you got the first quarter. And you got the waxing gibbous, which means three fourths of the way, and then you got the full moon. So, it, so they start off with a little leaven, okay? Is that what's First Corinthians uh, five? A little leaven mm -hmm. leavens the whole lump. Okay, okay that's First Corinthians five. Yeah, uh, let me see. Uh, first Corinthians five and uh, seven, six. I'm sorry, First Corinthians five and six. Okay, because you can start off with a little bit of a little bit. Of impure uh, doctrine, a little bit of okay. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe they just went off on this one thing. Okay, and we have mm -hmm. examples in Israel. That's why the reason why we bring this out is because we actually have Israelites. They know that they're Israelites that are following the blind. How should I say you uh, uh, to the to the wicked scribes and Pharisees? Ye are blind leaders of the blind. Okay, and, and both of you are going to fall into the ditch. Roughly paraphrasing, meaning that anybody who follows these specific groups, if they don't repent, man, all right, they're going to, they are going to, uh, uh, they're going to receive the, uh, that, that same uh, judgment as the, as the people that are following. Okay. So it's very important. Uh -huh. to, it's very important to, to, to uh, pay attention to these things in the spirit. Uh, let's talk, uh, let's keep reading. Bible keep Shabbat. reading. Okay. Yeah. Right. It says, uh, it says, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived, but but continue thou in the things which that's, thou hast learned. That's the spirit. It said deceiving and being deceived. We pretty much right. said the same. We pretty much said that. You right. know, uh, uh, de deceiving. All right, meaning you going out there and lying, uh, mm -hmm. and, and 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 being deceived because you following right. Satan. Right. You know the deceiver, the devil. <laughs> con, con, man. It's it's just people that know the Israelites and they believe in Egyptology at the same time. That, you know? man, that don't even that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> right. And, and, and also there's people that know that they're Israelites and believe in flat earth. And they believe that they're Israelites. <laughs> and that and they and, and the thing is you can't man, bro, things Jake will take one one little iota of something that's hella insignificant uh, to to your salvation and just make that right. the whole argument and the whole doctrine. Okay. That's right. your house. I talk about how the wicked scribes and Pharisees they uh they uh swallow a camel and strain at a gnat, straining at a gnat, meaning you're looking at the tiniest little thing that don't even matter, okay, compared to the things that uh when you prioritize things spiritually that that are that are most uh important need that Come. they need to be ad addressed first, okay, uh, for the uh. simple basic milk scriptures, right? You know, you're right. trying to figure out who Noah was in the reincarnation. You know, you, you know, you don't even, you know, know the Ten Commandments or, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or you know, certain basic things, man. You want, yeah, you got to, right. you got to, you want to, you, you, you want to make sure you get the foundation first, man. Right. Okay. Uh, you you got to, bro. It's like, <laughs> fair, like Louis Farrakhan believing that we're Hebrew Israelites, but 
he believes in, in Islam. Well, <laughs> yeah, man. You know, he, these guys are set up by Esau. The certain leaders are set up. Go ahead. Set up, man. They're just set up, man. They're just puppets, you know. And that's the beautiful thing about this truth. When you actually become a part of the ministry, you understand how organic it is. You know, right, all, of Esau's, right, right. All, all of Esau's uh, uh, organization, that is, it, it sounds, you know, organized, but it's really, it's, it's, it's like an institution. You know, it's not mm-hmm. really, uh, it's not really honest. You know, it's, it's cool. more so, it's forced. You can feel these different uh, religions and all that stuff is, is, you can just feel that it's just tainted. Right. Okay. Because it comes from, a matter of fact, Christianity in itself. You look at the origins of Christianity. Who they Google the father of Christianity. You got Constantine the Great when he uh, he was actually known as a heretic. Okay, he was actually known as somebody who was uh, going against what was being taught uh, according to the scriptures. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, did we read verse? Uh, what was that? Did we get with verse fifteen? Thirteen. No, we haven't read that yet. Okay, yeah, let's read verse fifteen, Bob Rasha. Um. 15, it says, uh, I'm going to finish 14. It says, okay. See thou the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that form, Salaki, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. Hold on, hold on. Which, it, said, know, it says, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Okay. Kind, so kind. We, so if, you, if you say the men that you learn from or the men of the Lord and they, you know, the most high dealing with them, and then you right. go back and say, "Oh wait, never mind. No, they're not." That's, right. So, so which was so you was going off before all the, all the times you know you were thinking you would come on, man. Come. No, man, Jake. You know, Jake has Jake has to realize that um, you can't just go pity patty back and forth like that. You have to you have to pick. <laughs> Y'all should have said, choose you this day, you know, who you, uh, who you going to serve, man. And then there's a scripture uh, I keep thinking about. I got to find it. It, it. it talks about how um, it talks about how uh, certain men are tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Um, and uh, that's that's it seems to be very common. You know, there's, they're, they're not rooted. OK, that's 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 the problem. Um did we, so okay, Bob Bushai, could you finish reading verse fifteen? It says, um, fifteen. It says, and that from a child thou has has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make these wise, make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Mashiach Yahushai. Right, man, and the scriptures are faithful and true. So, from a child, from that, from that birth. OK, from that uh, from that spiritual baptism that we uh, that we were that we were uh, blessed with. OK, we learn the scriptures. OK, with the, the proper doctrine. OK, and we have been given the wisdom, knowledge and understanding to be stable in the times that are coming. It says that are able to make thee wise unto salvation. OK, part of the problem is that Jake. Uh, ends up losing faith along the way. Those who lose faith along the way are not going to receive that salvation because we are saved by faith. Uh, let's see here. Next scripture was going to be, uh, we already got uh, I a, Hebrews. I have a precept. Okay. Yeah, this is um, Romans 16 and uh, 17. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Got you know, it's just talking about, you know, mark them that uh, cause uh, divisions and offenses, you know, and th- they're coming against the doctrine that we learned, you know, it's changing it, trying to make a, a whole new doctrine, trying to say certain things don't matter anymore. Uh, the mark of the beast isn't, isn't the microchip or, or uh, we don't know the name, how about Shemel Shai or, you know, the chariots aren't are are, are clouds. They're not uh, so called UFOs, or you know, because uh, it's people that actually have tasted this this gift and then uh, turned around and just made up whole new doctrines, you know, right. and different things that don't uh, go along with the Holy Spirit 
um, or or the things that the Holy Spirit has taught us. Kind. Of. Yeah, which is it's, why it's so it's so important to uh, to continue in the things that we have learned, as the scriptures say, which means teach what you've been taught. You know, don't come up with anything new because that's how that's how these these fables and all this stuff come upon come 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 you know come up to be um uh -huh. all right uh what's what verse were you in the verse 18 uh, or, 17 oh, okay yeah Is there a 18 one? yeah one more it says um for they are such serve not our lord yahweh shy but their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple you know, deceiving the hearts of oh, you got. Did you want to oh no, no, go ahead, brother, go ahead, speak on. Deceive, deceiving, deceiving the hearts of the simple. That goes into the uh, to uh, to the to the deceive. Uh, uh, it said what we read earlier. Uh, this uh, deceiving, deceiving, and being deceived. That's right. Okay. Um, it said they. It said that they don't serve Yahushua. They they serve their own belly. All Man. right. They they serve they they serve uh they serve their own uh they serve to stroke their own ego. By making themselves look like they know, you know, I mean, it's so uh, vain. It's like you know, it's it's vain, man. Right. It's it like is ultimately vain. the whole reason why we're out there with garments and not getting lineups and not eating pork uh, and, uh, and and going out there on the highways and byways is to glorify how about shing outside? Like how how could how can you going out to preach for your own belly be beneficial to you? When I say for your own belly, to for you to make yourself look good. Like that, right. that doesn't make that. I mean, that doesn't. We we out here, bro. We out here in, in garments, man, like, in in rough garments, man. Right, like, right. You know, you know, you be better off trying, yeah. to, you know, try to be a, a rapper and try to make a music video, you know, and make yourself look like you got, you know, prominent, and then try to make you be over righteous and you know, right. For sake of your own belt. That's you know, to me, that's it. Doesn't make any sense, man. But, <laughs> right, right. You know, ultimately. Uh, like I said, it's it's about it's about pushing the doctrine, and if you don't um, if you don't teach according to the word uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, it's because there's no light in you. Okay, okay. And okay. Most High can blow that that light out, that candle out, and you will become a reprobate, and you right. will end up blaspheming against the Holy Spirit, man. Right, hey bro, it just made me think about when um when Nate had that 500 man march down in the city, you know. Yeah. It's like he looked good. It looked good to the world, <laughs> but mm -hmm. to the men of the Lord, we understood that was folly, bro. Bro, you got three minutes on live TV, uh, on you know TV, not even live on a news channel, you know. But ultimately, uh, we like I, like the scriptures say, we don't we don't do this for the uh, for 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 the praise of men, you know. We do because that because that that way we we would have our reward, you know, fame. Okay. That's selling out, really. We do this for this. We do this for the glorification of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. All right. We owe him. We owe it to him. We do it humbly, uh, and, me and meekly, and uh, and the whole time we we we're begging uh, for forgiveness. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> let me read this. Uh, oh, are you still reading, bro? It's a lot. That was it, brother. Let me go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's get that. Uh, let's get that in First John four, uh, in one, real quick. First John four one. And then uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll probably end it off in uh, in First Peter. Okay. Uh, yeah, first, first John four, four one. Mm -hmm. It says, "Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are gone into the world, out into the world." Mm -hmm. And that's that's uh that's the importance of trying the spirits by the spirit. Okay, we know that through the, through the spirit, when somebody is going off, you know, if they don't uh if they don't come back on track, they they're just gonna fall off course. And right. you know, we, we we the Most High has given us the discernment to do that. I'm sorry to tell uh, when that's happening and, and and what man is is speaking according to uh, uh, the truth the true doctrine. Okay, right. just between the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, as it says in verse six. Did you have some, bro? No, not right now. Okay, kind, kind. Let's uh, cause did you read all of verse four? Where it says, Me "Yeah, I prophets. read it." Yeah, uh -huh. yeah okay. Yeah. The, false, the false prophets, man. You know, false, the false prophets, man, uh, are out into the world right now. Uh, reprobates, you know, 
reprobates, man, void of understanding. The most I took that understanding away from them. Okay, they used to have it, but you took it, you took it, took it away um, from certain men. Okay, so let's uh, continue in verse two, Baba Pusha. All right, it says, uh, <clears throat> "Hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High." Every spirit that confessed that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is not of the Most High. And that is that spirit of Antichrist. Wherefore ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Right. And so, uh, you know, you have men that understand that, that Yahweh Shai uh, actually came in, uh, in the flesh, but they deny it. You know, uh, they, they understand that, that, that Yahweh Shai's name is Yahweh Shai, but they deny right. it. They, you know, they, they deny right. it. They saw, how are you going to deny you saw the resurrection, man? You know, right. <laughs> just, so that, just so that Esau don't look at you crazy. But then you see your brothers catching hell because they actually confessing and telling the truth. How do you think the most High going to look at you? You know? Uh, and that spirit is like I said, it's in the world, right? Like we said, it's, it's in the world already, man. Um, so like I said, we could get that uh, unless you got a precept, bro. We get that in uh, First Peter, uh, chapter two, uh, and one. Done. I get it. This is First Peter, chapter two, and verse one. It says, um. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sin, so like, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. Con, con, uh, laying aside all malice and guile and hypocrisies. Hypocrisy is being contradiction, contradiction, man. Hold yourself right. to the same standard that you teach. Your conscience should not be condemning you. Pe men's men are living with condemned consciences. That's a burden that I would I wouldn't want to have. Just mm -hmm. just to, just to be made just to be looked at uh, uh, in a positive light in the flesh amongst God. the people. That's not worth God. it. God. You condemn yourself. You the most I going the most guys gonna punish you for that because you 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 blaspheme and you're blaspheming him okay mm -hmm. by any way there's multiple ways to do it like we said the main the uh you you speak you curse curse the names of the most high okay and then you, mm -hmm. you or falling out of the truth okay falling out of the truth going back into the world and being a filth a filthy uh a filthy you know basically heathen but we're gonna read verse uh three in uh first peter two uh, and finish it off. You know, we're gonna read it. Finish it off in verse three. God, it says, "If so be ye, so like it, If so be ye have tasted that the the Lord is gracious." Right. So if we tasted that the Lord is gracious, uh, oh, matter of fact, uh, get that Psalms uh, thirty-seven. Uh, let me see. Yeah, get that Psalms thirty-seven real quick. Uh, I'll taste to see that the Lord is gracious because if we tasted that the Lord is gracious, then we, then that goes back to what we read earlier in, uh, in first Corinthians 11, all right. Eating and drinking of, uh, of the body, uh, and blood of, of Yahweh, of Yahweh Shai going, uh, going away from that and, 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 and saying, okay, no, I never, I was never a part of that. I don't want nothing to do with that. That's blasphemy, man. But if we tasted that the Lord is gracious, then we are supposed to put off all of that, all the thought, all the thoughts of, uh, of going back into the world. That that thought shouldn't even be uh so like this. Psalms thirty four and eight. God. And we'll end it off on that. This is uh Psalm chapter thirty four and eight. It says, Oh taste and see that Yahweh Bashim how shy is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Right, man. And that's right to the point. All right. Trusting. And having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai that he's not going to lead you uh, uh, into darkness as long as you are diligently seeking him. He's not going to lead you astray. Okay. Now, if you quit, then the Most High, he's going to take that hedge of protection off of you. And he's going to make, he's going to put the spirit on you to condemn yourself. 
He's gonna put his spirit on you to 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 do some to do something way off, so that he ha- so that he'll be justified in destroying you. So it's very important that we stay on that on that course of obedience. Did you have anything, bro? Man, that was it. Uh, well, I had one precept. It's in uh, Isaiah. It says, uh, Isaiah 8 and uh, 20, it says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. And I was pretty much, you know, hey, man, according to the word, according to the heart, whole word. That's why, you know, uh, the, through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone down, we believe that we have the 100% truth because we believe all of the scriptures. There isn't any contradictions in the scriptures. We understand those things that that are stumbling blocks to the to the rest of the world, and we know and and have and have broke them down to the point to where we understand what it's talking about, and we have uh, precepts to back up our claims. You know, because we speak according to the scriptures, we we speak according to the testimony. You know, we don't speak according to our own hearts. You know, um, like other like other camps. You know, or other people that's calling themselves Israelites or believers or Christians or whatever they're calling themselves according to the word of the, uh, uh, according to the Bible, you know, but we understand uh, the hundred percent truth of the scriptures. God, God. Anybody who's, who's willingly teaching uh, uh, contrary to that or for the sake of the gain of riches, on this side, that's 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 uh, unacceptable, man. And uh, mm-hmm. that's why we've been, you know, through the spirit set up to warn the people. So I brought this out, you brothers, but edified with that. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Hashem, 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 Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Shalom. So I like you. Hold on, I like you. Exit out of here.